From the air, Centennial's Eagle Crest High looks the same. Students play after school across or walk home, backpacks in hand. But inside the classrooms, it didn't feel the same. I didn't really know what exactly it was, um, but I was like just in biology class and my teacher was explaining it to us. Vinny um, Rodriguez and others at Eagle Crest High learned about a rare infection this week after bacterial meningitis is suspected of killing one of their teachers. So I'm just kind of like anxious about being there. The district canceled class Wednesday. They did a deep clean too. When Vinny's mom found out one teacher had symptoms of bacterial meningitis, People, she was shocked. Um, I didn't want it coming home in my family either because I do have a young baby at home as well. She knows better than most how dangerous this infection can be. Her older brother lost his hearing when he had it as an infant. It was a very big impact. He's still struggling today, just dealing with his life as a hearing impaired person. That story didn't help Vinny's anxiety in returning to class. <laughs> I'm absolutely horrified of getting any sort of thing like that, and I'm scared that like my friends would have it. The Arapahoe County Health Department says it's finished contact tracing, and the district says a normal number of students attended class Thursday. Now, with one more concern on their minds. But I just feel that these kids have been through so much already, and here's another thing to add on. The district says about 50 students who are in the special needs program won't have classes for the rest of the week. That's a small number in the school of more than 3,000 kids. The health department says this is the only possible case of this infection they know of so far. We still don't know what caused the other special education staffers' death. Oh, it's such, such a sad week for that school community. Cole, thank you for that.